Um, Long distance relationships are going to go through the roof. There will always be a place for physicalness. I will say that. Even even, you've seen it and it will probably trans translate itself into the future technology as well. But you saw it with zoom stuff where like you can even, if you take that view and you see our 2d screens right now on a physical surface, a 2d digital screen streaming physical places onto one place. I see your couch. I'm kind of in your home, but I'm not, you know, it's kind of just, you take this and you go like that, you pinch it out and you throw it on your, on your bed. And then, you know, avatar, Rick or avatar, but you saw with people doing zoom meetings and like you could do zoom meetings, you could try to close the deal on zoom, but it's, there's something different about the physicality of it. And I, I do think there will always be a different edge for physicality than, than not eventually just, just maybe. You, you, yeah. And then, you know, maybe we'll get, super close one day and then maybe you have a, a trance uh what's it called the uh where everything's is is everything i forgot the word you know people are gonna literally you know people are gonna smash in the metaverse because people have sex on facetime i don't know sex they mutually masturbate into their cameras but cybering and then like did you know the, of the word cybering cybering yeah <laughs> There, there's people in like Hobo Hotel and like old chat rooms and stuff where you, you cyber with people and have like digital tech sex. Dude, Omegle for the metaverse, it's just random. Well, that'd be not cool. that'd be... <laughs> okay, so what, what, <laughs> what are the worst websites to have in the metaverse? Just the grossest, grimiest stuff. Uh... Omegle is one where you just have random dudes with underwear on in your room. God, dude, these parental controls are going to need to be. I mean, I I don't know how much of an overestimation it is just because, like, we're watching it happen. I don't know if people, like, people that are older us probably saw the internet and phones, and their somewhat fear of it was heightened because they were just, they were before it. So I'm not sure how much of an over-exaggeration it is going to be. But, I mean, phones are addicting, and it's pretty unhealthy. So there, there's always going to be something unhealthy about new tech. That's yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be it. Like, like a combination of super immersive content and information tied with everything you want to see instantly, the algorithm. Mm-hmm. So you're literally going to have to rip your child's glasses off of them and get them to come downstairs for dinner. People will definitely have to rewire their like dopamine output. It's going to be very, 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 very hard to try to manage your your uh, reward system. Tinder in the metaverse. Tinder is already a buffer. I feel like the lack of guys walking up to girls. This is probably this is just a theory. Walking up to girls, well, obviously because of phones. And just like asking for the numbers to climb because like tinder is like a buffer right so now tinder in the metaverse you match with somebody and before you even meet them in person you got to go on a metaverse date with them so that's like another barrier dating right app there have a pretty bad algorithm matching like there's no like instagram could show you what what you're very inclined to click on you know dating apps don't really have great algorithms they are good at matching attractive people with attractive people. Mm-hmm. That's 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 one of their main things. But yeah, they could they could go harder on like the like this person you'll love. Dude. Maybe it's just a lack of data too. But like this would be like yo this chick yeah. you'll you'll be down with. Maybe that's a little more biomedical stuff. But they should really be like. I saw a thing. I don't know if it's real. It's like a height verification thing. <laughs> I was like yo like. Just verify everything if you're gonna verify height, you know. If you're gonna fucking body shame right off the bat, <laughs> throw throw a weight verification in there too. Do you think it's weird for someone to have a very strong inclination for a race of someone they're interested in? They're like, I only enjoy Chinese people as as a mate. I don't think it's weird. But like, a I think it's line. weird if they're like, I think it's weird 
if their reason is something other than attraction. Okay. If they're like, I think so I think this race is stupid, so I won't date them, then like I think that's fucking weird. But if they're just like, oh, I'm only attracted to Chinese people, then I don't think that's weird. Like a like a super defined line where it's like, nah, I only like this this Puerto Rican guy super into me, but I only like Chinese people. <laughs> because uh, like, yeah, I yeah. Weird. Like a, that's just super hard line. I think just I was thinking about it, and I there was something that was just a little off for me. Really, a little bit. I think some people like just have some features that, like, if there's a feature that you find unattractive, and everyone in that race has that feature, then you know if you're just like, I just don't like dark skin at all. I feel like that's some conditioning, though. Don't you or think I, some of it is conditioning societally? I don't like big penises at all. Like, Boy. um, let me think. S- society conditioning? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe, but. Like there's a certain point where it's a little less biological of like, oh, this is kind of like what my DNA is and I might have some some weird nature into that and then some weird more influence from outside sources. Well, biologically, like deep down, why are you attracted to someone? Because you think you might make healthy kids, you know? Or you think like, you know, I like this person's features. I would like to pass this trait down onto my offspring and maybe people are just like okay uh i want my offspring to have the features that i have and that my ancestors had so i am like my brain's just only going to be attracted to people that look like a little bit of casual biologic racism well is it is it (laughs) racism no racism is fucking like i understand it's a joke i don't know Racism is like evil. That's just sure nature. Sure. Could you not say? <laughs> no, I don't want to say that. It's a little mean. Um, like, is a cat racist for only sleeping with like gray cats? <laughs> you know, I, at one point, at, at a certain point, you could have an, an the argument that racism stems from bi- biological things. But racism is a little more thought processy and bigoted. I, I but if think you, if you take it down is... to that root of again, like, oh, this is what my ancestors had, so I have some DNA in me that's like, yo, I'm trying to prolong a, a deep rooted ancestry. Then I, don't know. I, I also do think there's a large selection of people that only date people because they think their parents would approve. Like, there's a, I know there's like a bunch of like indian girls that'll fuck like just the biggest black bulls and then they'll only bring home like an indian dude to mom and dad uh, why well, you gotta categorize people as bulls man. <laughs> <laughs> that's just come on now man well the biggest black bulls dude <laughs> that's just, it's half it's half like literally what they say it on pornhub <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's half like <laughs> Half huh? like slave auction, half like just visceral nature. Okay, you took it there. <laughs> that wasn't in my mind at all. I would say a bull is like a, a very big, strong man. You know. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But they, they call like, they call nobody people... was thinking slaves. Well, that's what the the people that were at auctions not uh, relate humans to to animals. Yeah. So. I'm not saying they're like, like if I were to say something like a historically racist, like animal comparison, like a monkey or something, then sure, yeah, more maybe. Racist, more racist. But like fucking, like a nah. strong stallion. You don't think that's kind of weird? No, like, not at all. That's a. I think that's a term of endearment. A stallion's a strong animal. Well, where's the root from? It's like yo, know, that uh, that piece of of uh, cattle is good and strong. Okay, I think just because you compare a black person to an animal doesn't necessarily have like dark racist undertones. I think you can compare anyone to an black as well, like like Italian stallion thing. I still think this is kind of a. I feel like the the comparison of humans to animals might have come from darker places rather than terms of endearment. So, if you have you ever heard a really handsome man be called a stallion? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
I don't think that's like what? I think it might stem from more human trafficking stuff. Possibly. Okay, well, I think that's kind. Of, I personally think that's kind of a leap, but could if be. You think that all right? <laughs> could be a leap, but you know, a lot a lot of things that seem uh, uh, innocuous in modern day stem from a lot of darker things. Yeah, that may be true, but also who cares like well, the, the the roots of things is interesting because then you it's find like the is that things. is that moving is that moving us forward if the post office used to be racist does it does it does it move us forward to sit here and talk about how the post office used to be racist i need to mail my letter sir i need to get this package out the roots of everything can lead to the future yes i believe so yeah but like not everything no needs to be like analyzed you know, like maybe, but, okay, let's take a look at the police and how that started from like a racist thing. The post well, office will give that a pass. You don't think that every, that thinking about things and where it stems from is, is not an important part of it. It's important, the but I'm not, I'm not saying you have to chastise everything, but I'm saying that if you don't think about the roots, of, there are very interesting roots of everything that most of the time have come from positions of power to try to capitalize themselves over other things like a, like strong roots of society probably started with the Catholic church in, in, in America stuff and European stuff. And you find yeah. structures of power that have been put into people's brains and actions that have been put into people's brains that stems from a long line of someone in a human role saying, this is how I want to act. I usually think about the history of things that'll benefit my mission. It's good too. You um, don't think it's a, it's a good exercise to think about it things other ways? Yeah, it's just like I don't I, know. I understand where you're coming from. There's some things you choose to it just doesn't do anything for you. So why think about it like most of the internet? Yeah. You only have so many fucks to give. Like I have five fucks to give each day. And once I give out all my fucks, like I'm depleted. Like I'm out of fucks. I can't run out of fucks by noon because then I got the, the rest of the day. You know? It's quite important to cherish your brain power and mind power. I agree. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Let me dive into the Discord, see if there's anything that is interesting. <laughs> 